Hello. Oh, that could be very loud. I have no idea what the audio levels are like. Let me know. Uh, what did I want to do first? I think... I want to... Okay. For closure SP. Yeah. I want to get closure LSP working somehow. Let's turn this down a bit more. much louder. There we go. Okay. So, I think someone shared something with me on Discord that was telling me what I had to do. red there we go that yep yep that and that yep so it was in here i want mvim lsp config apparently and add that line somewhere okay so Closure LSP, so you add LSP config, you run Closure LSP setup to enable it. Default values command is that, yep. File types, yep. Root dir. Uh, ah, that's kind of cool. Neat little trick. Let me uh, share the link to this in the Discord as well. That's a big old photo of me. Uh, right, let's do this then. So this plugin is Neovim LSP config. Oh, do I need this? Can I require LSP config already? Let's give it a go. No. It's, yeah, LSP config. Okay. We add a plugin. And it goes in here. So neovim slash lsp config. It's weird that this isn't like built into the editor, to be honest. I'm surprised. I run my sync. Using it. What? Well, that's weird. Why would you need my username? Why would you not be using SSH? Huh? Huh? Am I missing something? And I want to try telescope. I think telescope replaces this fuzzy find. So neovim lsp config. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, mvim lsp config. Oh. Oh. 
Does that change the order at all, I wonder? Ah, oh, you can't do GV, okay. Hey, go down, there we go. I should look and see if there's a better easy motion now as well. Like I wonder if there's a lurey kind of easy motion. Or a fennel one. Uh, okay. That's that updated. So now I guess we do plugin. Yep. And this is going to be lspconfig.panel. And it's module.files plugin lspconfig. Uh, and we want to auto load. Uh, what do I want to auto load? Go, go here. Good, there we go. So we want to auto load LSP config. Uh, LSP config as LSP config. Let's just do LSP. And then LSP dot. Uh, Closure LSP dot setup. I think I can do this. And I'll let it use the defaults. Okay. Apparently that's worked. Well, it lagged as I was typing there. So I can only assume that that worked. I mean, I've got conjure, but... Hmm. Hmm. So what should it mean? Snippet of enabled language server. Yeah. Doing that. Default values. Yeah. That's fine too. So how do you use it once you've got this installed? Go to definition, find references, hover. Okay. Lua framework, Vim LSP for building an enhanced LSP tools. Okay. Install. Yeah. 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 Create a project. This project must contain a file matching the... Ah. Okay. Right. So. That, oh. Right. Since, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Just close it. That's fine. So that should in theory mean... I have LSP. I have Lumpy Space Princess. It's a good project for this. Let's say Athena. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over here. So, how does this work? Does stuff just kind of show up, or what? Like. I mean, Conjure's still sort of working. Oh no, this is trying to connect to, yeah. So I think I have a <sighs> emerable port. Yeah, so there's an emerable port file in here. So Conjure is having a bad time, but that's okay. I'm wondering what I should get, like LSP, is there anything here? Okay, NeoVim LSP. Let's have a look, see what people say. Like, how do people use new MLSP right now? Yeah, there's that, sure. Native LSP in new them. Yeah, cool. Is there a plugin that like adds? Um oh Vim LSP buff references. 
Uh, right, so I have to actually use like control K. So let's try this. Vim LSP buff signature help. So Lua Vim LSP buff signature help. Come on, give me something, please. Vim LSP buff signature help. Yeah, looks about right. Is that what they're doing? That's all they're doing. Unless. Uh, okay. So it throws an error if I don't actually call something. Implementation. Vim.lsp buff implementation. No. Definition? Do none of these do anything? Definition? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. LSP info. Configure clients. Zero clients attach this buffer. Zero active clients. Ah. LSP start. LSP info. No. Huh. Compy. So maybe I have to do compy says mvim lsp true and then they also do pyrite setup. Okay. See, I feel like I've got most of this. That's fine. I think I have compy, yeah. Ah, okay, MVM LSP is already a source, right. Fine by me, so. One even 0.5. I have language server client. <coughs> Unless um, uh, closure let's be is it working? So the compy convic I think is fine. LSP closure, LSP setup. What does this return? Does it return anything? No, nothing. Also, I don't think it was, oh, it's not loaded. Oh, because because, 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 because. Dudoy. I've got to enable it by hand. I used to automatically load these things, and now I don't. For performance. Ah, oh, what a wally. <coughs> <clears throat> That'll do it. Okay, LSP info. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. But how do I... Like, nothing comes up though, right? Like... Memorable slash. So this... I would expect to complete, like, n repl specific things. However... This is just, like, everything, right? Like, if I start my REPL, sure, this is going to work, but... Oh, 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 oh! <gasps> oh, look at that! Unused public var, start. Wait, it's unused? It's not, though. Oh, it's unused because I call this from outside. Oh, it took a while to connect, but... Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Right. And I just need some mappings to show me, like, uses and stuff. <gasps> oh, why didn't I get on this earlier? Okay, so I've got compute. So that should be completing now, right? Like, if I do, like, mount slash... Like, why? Why... So it pops up eventually, but it, like, takes a while. If I hit, like, tab? No. Hmm. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Like, this reduces the burden of what Kumja has to do massively, which I am completely for. Then Kumja remains a tool for... Interactive evaluation. Unresolved symbol client. Oh, it can't understand the macro. Oh, that's a shame. So it doesn't understand def state is declaring a thing called client. Ah. Oh. Is event unused? Yeah, that's unused. Huh. Okay. Um, what about this? What about uh, definition? So, or definition of contains. Ooh. Okay. Nice. What about implementation? What does that do? Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, ah. Whew. Okay. Okay. Completion, declaration, definition. Usages? Can I get usages? I'm going calls, range, references. Maybe that? Yeah. Well, I never. What about rename? Is there like a rename thing? Rename. New name. No way. Wait, is this only in one file? Okay, so this one's only in one file, so it's less impressive. Uh, how about, like, something a bit more widespread? Uh, I don't know. Have I got a util thing? Uh, data won't work because it can't resolve the symbol. It's a shame. If I do like stir slash. Can it work out imports? Bim dot LSP dot import or import. Oh, uh, wait, whoa, 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 what's code lens? Hang on. What is this? Code, oh, what, what? On code lens? Refresh? Display? Okay, it does nothing, but... Hang on, let me 
me turn this music down. It's loud. I, I'm still pretty impressed. Right. What happens if I evaluate here as well? Like if I... Hold up. Okay, so let's commit this. Um, add initial closure LSP support. I meant to push. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So if I CD repos are Athena. I won't start up actually. Uh, I'm going to want to globally ignore LSP as well, which will be in config next packages, git ignore. Is it this one? Ignore? Where is it? I thought edit excludes. Stowed git excludes. This is it. Uh, so dot LSP. Uh oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm using uh, LSP, yeah. So globally git ignore dot LSP. That's going to come in handy. Can I, do I have a better closure project to use here? Conjure could work. Hmm. My blog. Yeah, let's do that. So if I open up this, it'll take a second and then work out what's going on. I'm guessing it marks this is unused. And then let's add some mappings as well. So what's this guy using for some mappings? LSP config, the mappings used in this, in the default file don't quite work right. So they're doing GD, GD, GR, GI, are these not things that already exist? Like, what if I do GI? No. Oh, GI does nothing. Okay. Things to begin with G. G quote C quote X. Okay. Auto commands. Buff pre writes. So before they write JS, JSX, or PI, they have it format. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so the next thing is, is there a fennel one for, uh, wait, no, not like, not this one. Where was I? This one. Yeah. Config. No fennel. Well, that's a shame. So what have we got? We've got, oh, there's so many. Vash. I have to install these, but with Nix, that's not too bad. Eh, Clojure for now. Clojure's the only one I'm using. We will stick with Clojure. Is it not showing up anything? I don't know if it's working or... As I type... As I start type... Oh, 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 oh. I saw something. Maybe there's just no errors in this one. I type foo. Yeah, I resolve symbol foo. Okay. So if I do like gd. Okay, it doesn't do anything right now. Let's add some mappings. I'm going to convert these from fennel as well. So mvim slash mapping. Um, LSP. I'm going to link to this blog post as well from here because always linked to where you got things. Uh, LSP. Oh, I'll just go with LSP. So let's go with that. Copy this because thank you very much. Uh, Chris at machine. Requires near 0.5. Yep. 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 
that's quite cool. They just kind of give you a Lua API and say, go wild, like, do you want... I'm not going to do auto formatting. I'm not massively into that right now. I might want that at some point, but I find it annoys me more than it helps me. Uh... So GR, GI, K is hover. So I might want to change my conjure mappings then. So my conjure mappings. I think I've rebound. I thought I rebound shift K. Also, this is old. Where's this from? 2020. I don't think this actually does anything now. Log bot right. Force the log to always open at the bottom or far right of the editor. Wait, do I use that anymore? Is that just not respected? Have I got an option here that doesn't actually do anything? I'm not going to wait for this to load. Because I rewrote how the um, log is defined at some point. when you do LV. Okay, right, 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 right. So that is correct. That is indeed correct. Um, look up documentation. I can't, do I want to remap this then? So I've got leader GD to go to definition. Maybe GK I'll do. I don't think GK, no. So GI, GR, GD, GD. Yeah, they don't do anything right now anyway. So, so these ones control K and N. Signature help. Right. Okay. Okay, so let's macro this as well. Uh... Wrap in parentheses. Bop, 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 bop. Actually, start from the beginning. QQ. Go to the inner line. Surround in parentheses. Uh, no remap. Uh, uh, CF that N. Escape. Uh, okay, that, and that CMD, I think is actually for me, oh, that's why people use, oh, so you can use CMD instead of colon, right, right, okay, so we do this, this, surround quotes, there, zero. At Q, at Q, at Q, at Q, at Q, at Q, at Q. Oh, micro is great. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Uh... That's fine, it's fine. Pretend that I got the macros right first time. Stop looking at this bit. Oh, wow. This is royally messed up, isn't it? All right, there we go. Uh, and also, pedantically, I like all lowercase. 
including for CR. Okay, and now let's see if this works. So, I need a closure project. Let's do advent of code. 2020. Source. Let's see if it works. Let's see if. Oh, it's frozen. I presume that's a good thing. Maybe not. Uh oh. 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 Uh. I have lost keyboard input. Wait, no, I haven't. I've lost keyboard input in Vim. I've lost K. Huh. I have other things. I don't have K. Oh. So, what I've done is broken the control bit. Right, so this C hyphen isn't actually working. Why not? How does this work? Do 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 so N and P are fine, but K isn't. What did I do to K? It's not G K. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed that. Oh no. So I think it's this one. No, it's not. Still can't press K. So even with that commented out, I still get that error. Anything in messages? No. K is just overtaken now by... Ah, oh, you know what? This should also go... First of all, I'm going to delete this. Uh, put this into a... Now the editor, just keep it safe. And then I want to reboot this, go to LSP config. Oh, can I do this? I wanted to put my mappings here so that uh, my... How do I do other mappings? Really? I define this over and over? Oh, okay. Oh, that looks much more like it. Okay, so dot file, util dot files. Okay. Yeah. Where are you? LSP config. Okay, util dot files. Dot files util. And how did this one work? So this is util dot uh, and the remap. Yeah, that's more like it. Maybe this will fix it, you know.
it may have done. Either that or it's not working at all now. GK. Oh, no, they're defined. Control K. Yeah, buff signature. Huh. Yeah, these just... They haven't registered? Yeah, they haven't... Oh, oh, oh. No. Huh. GD? No. So how does util no remap work? Util no remap. So it does an N leader. Oh, I don't want that. No, I didn't want that. So maybe... Ah, uh, that's annoying. Who uses this? Is it mostly just that one place? Uh, fugitive and LSP config. Uh, and fuzzy fine. Okay. This is going to become L no remap. Oh no, 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 no. So this is just no remap. And then def and l and no remap is from two and no remap. And we do a dot dot leader uh, from two. And now any occurrence of n no remap, I change to uh -huh. Wee! l. Uh -huh. And where else? Oh, you took Fuzzifer on a remap. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Wait. Isn't that what I'm already doing? You tell. The two is now being double colon. You tell. Oh. You tell dot L no no remap. Huh. Don't need that. So I now have N no remap and L no remap. For local and non local. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh hopefully this still works. I'll wait to find out. Was I? Nine? Yeah, nine. Oh, K is broken again. I can't go up. That's so weird. I'm guessing this isn't working how I expect it to. So if I comment out these ones. Oh, hang on. Let's start doing day five. I don't know. I can go up now, right? Come and uncomment that one. I can no longer go up. So it's the GK. Mm. The GK. Why would you cause my K to stop working? I'm not pressing G. 
so that's the this isn't what I wanted to spend my time debugging to be honest um, so it's the from key is here is this so this is end up ending up being string of GK now why would you take over every K there is also a colon appearing when I press K okay even weirder have I got a typo in one of my mappings no something on J is hmm Hmm. So if I do these, is it just a hover one? Also hover should be on the auto command for hover. And also these should only be when I'm in certain file types. The signature help available. Here we go. Oh, this is actually pretty incredible. Wait, what? If I press Control K again, it jumps me to this window. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, if I press Control K twice, it jumps me to the window. No, no, no. Ha! Huh. Well, that's odd. Pass morning, wrong number of args. So I get AOC if I search is called zero args, but expects one. So if I do that, it's like keys, row steps. Cool, cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Missing value for key. Oh, okay. Uh, what else does it work out? If I do like, uh, I don't know, reduce. Wait, this has got the docs as well? No way. I barely need a REPL connection now. I really want to know why that GK doesn't work, because this is really cool, and that is the only thing that's kind of holding me up right now. Oh, also, telescope. Emblem. Let's grab me some telescope at some point. I don't really know what this does, so find it, filter, preview, pick, all lower, all the time. Vim git vim files git lsp tree sitter. Now this sounds like absolute magic. I'm a little bit worried it's wait, what plenary pop up oh what? See these are the kind of things that worry me a little bit. It looks a bit big for my liking. Uh, that's a lot of config. It's a default, so. Hmm. And I'm also worried it's not going to be as fast as Fizzifer at, at like large values. Does it look pretty? How does it look? That does look kind of pretty. I do, yeah, I like the look of it. Hmm. I'm still a little flummoxed by this one. Oh, why'd I run it? 
Oh, wait. I can... Hmm. I can go up and down. GK, GK. Right. I want to do some auto commands here. Have I got any auto commands? Any examples? Uh, Vim schedule. Uh, aha. Yes. Let's just grab this. And we go back to LSP comp. And then we do like defin um, configure mappings. And in here we will do we. So I think there's a few different things I want here. I want, I want, I want, I want. <coughs> I uh, don't need to describe these now. We know what it's for. Uh, so Vim schedule. So for closure specifically, I don't think this needs to be in a schedule. Let's take this out. So auto command. Uh, mvim.x dot auto command. No, all group bang, which is an underscore. I need mvim as well. mvim is. Uh, and a C dot Envim. Envim <coughs> uh, all group. What do I call this? LSP config. Oh, it needs to be a string. LSP config. Uh, mappings. Yeah, that'll do. Or setup. Let's go with setup. And call this setup. So you create an all group, and then you do. Oh, how do you do this? Vim all group. I always forget. I want a nice syntax for this in Lua one day. Yeah. Okay. You do all group, then au bang, then some. Right. Mvim x auto command bang, and then mvim x all group. Uh, end? Ah, there's no bang on the first one. Okay. There's no bang here. It's such a horrible system. Like, the fact that you have to do these stateful commands is just... The fact they're stateful in separate calls... Oh, why? Uh... Oh, I'm on Neovim 0.5! I can give this... Oh, I can't give it a reference because it's a X command. Uh, is there an auto command call? No. So if there was a way I could call auto commands through the Vim Lua API, I could give it a direct reference to this function, but I cannot. So instead we require this and we do a setup. So, on closure, do this. And then what I think I want to do, instead of hover, I want to do, do I want another auto command here? I think I want a buff local auto command for, what's it called? There is an auto command for cursor hold, yeah. So I kind of want cursor hold I. Let's call this this. And I think I want auto command for cursor hold, but I think I only want to set it up for closure. Can I do that? Cursor hold. Does cursor hold take a, ah, oh, an example. Does cursor hold take a file type? Star. That looks like a file type. And this did exe. Yeah. Right. Let's do that then. Let's put this on a new line. Let's start separating these out because they're pretty ugly. 
So cursor hold. Is that what it was saying? Is that what it was saying? That star dot ch. What's the first bit though? I also don't want it to fire if it's going to cause an error. So there's a danger if you set something on cursor hold and then it starts like throwing errors in some case, then it will keep throwing errors every time you stop moving your cursor, which is kind of annoying. So I think I only want to do it for languages that I support. I'm also worried about performance. If I run this on a slower host, is it going to chug it? Give me an example. Vim cursor hold and Google. Auto command, change the whole time in cursor. Give me an example. Boop. Oh, the arch wiki, of course. Cursor hold. So I think this asterisk is file type or. Let's try it. Cursor hold closure. I want to call. Let's do it in here. On cursor hold in closure. I wish to call hover. And apparently I don't need this command or CR here. So I'll do, still do signature help on control K and go to prev, go to next. Right. Okay. Now this can just be set up. So I have a single auto command or group. Why don't I run that? Uh, and then we go into here. I can do control K. Good. Is it going to get annoying, I wonder? Is it working? Hello? Hello? No signature help? So there's a signature there. Yeah. There was one I saw, like, it came up with... Okay, let's try this instead. Uh, uh, quotes, please. Star.coj. How about that? Hello. Lua LSP buff hover. So that's what hover does. But it doesn't appear to actually do anything. I'm definitely hitting cursor hold threshold. Okay, maybe we should go here. Uh... What's the second argument to cursor hold? The Vim, like Vim script APIs are just so frustrating to use. Cursor hold for file type. I don't know. Mm. 
<sighs> Maybe if we get rid of this, try this. Ah. That's also going to get really annoying, isn't it? And also it's dropped me into this. Oh, that's not good. How'd I do that? So as soon as I hold my... Yeah, I'm not going to want that automatically, am I? That's going to be super frustrating. It's kind of cool, but it's like, it's the fact that it just pops up all the time, getting in the way. No, let's be more intentional with that. Let's put that back on GK. Although GK is the thing that doesn't work, so... Yeah, now K doesn't work. Huh. I think I've got a mapping that is accidentally pressing GK. No remap true. No. However, if I press GK on it, it works. But K is also doing it, I think. Yeah, so K is doing it as well. What? Wait, what does uh, GH do? GH start select mode char wise. Uh, is there another one that I can use? This is GD. We've got GF. GL. I don't know what is using this though. Space GK, sure. It's almost like something is calling GK. K runs GK. Oh! That comes from better default. It does GK instead of just K because it, it's a better way of moving around. Oh, yeah, I do use G and then movement keys, so I don't want to use that. Um, uh, would Y be good? GY? For like, get your info here? I don't know. Right, okay. Now I'm going to GY. But what's the difference between that and not, oh, hmm. So signature help, declaration, definition. So I could do capital K, is that what that was bound to in this? Right, that's what that was bound to. Right, so let's do capital K and then I'm gonna rebind my um, conjure one to Set MVMG conjure mapping. Documentation, conjure doc. How do I set you? Doc word. Yeah, so instead of this, it becomes doc word should become 
GK? No. Uh, yes, that's space GK. Yeah, because that's how conjure works. Right, so I'm going to do Shift K now to get the the LSP version, and then I can do uh, comma G uh, comma G K to get in, yeah, to get the country one. Right, 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 right. Oh wow, that's a lot of changes. Right, so we added country config, swap those to Elno remap, swap those to Elno remap. Uh, added configuration here, which I think I'm fine with. We only do that if we're in closure. Is that right? Uh, I want to buff a local one. Yeah, before I go ahead with that, can I until... Uh, how do you do this? Set oh, API set key map ops. Accepts all map arguments as keys, excluding buffer. But including no remap, values of booleans, unknown key and error. Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay, well, how do you say that something's buffer local? Set buffer local, use mvim buff set key map. Oh. Oh. Opts. Ah, if. Op, uh, you don't get. Opts. Buff local or local? Oh, we're doing some shenanigans now. Mvim dot set buff. Oh, hang on, that's not going to work, is it? Because I need a separate argument. Oh. Oh, crikey. Oh no. Uh. Need to apply then. I'm upset he's spaghetti about that. Right, you know what? You know what? If A dot get and I need A, so A is A is an a C dot core. Uh if a dot get ops because ops might not exist local uh, <laughs> I'm just going to duplicate this um, let ops be I'm going to shadow ops or uh, map ops map ops um, two two a form map ops so then one is uh so if it's local then we do set set buff uh, set key map buff set key map buff set key map and the buff set key map yeah buff set key map then it's a zero for current buffer so if it's local Buff set key map zero n from two map ups. We what you complained about two two expected body expression. Oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, and then we go over here, and all of these now can take a option. So defin map uh, from two. Uh, and then we do util.n no remap. 
from to local true. Now it's buffer local. And and how about how about we get tricky with it? Wait, yeah. It's not it already. I already wrap it in colon CR. If I'm wrapping it in colon CR, I don't need this. What am I doing? Percent S CMD slash nothing. Boom. CR slash nothing. Oh, now we're talking. And instead of using in a remap, map. Load it, load it, load it, load it. Yeah. Okay, so we got docs. We got, uh, let's say, seat control and, oh, no, nope, I've got it. Yep, 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 there we go. Wonderful. Um, I haven't used the declaration yet, that sort of thing. How about input? So, gr. <gasps> No more valid diagnostics to move to. Oh, so you can jump between errors as well. If I do like foo bar, I can jump between. Alrighty, yeah. Uh, so that's signature help, yeah. GD is declaration, so how about, uh, Am I actually calling anything? Yeah, let's go with this one. GD. Nice. What's big D? Nothing. What does that mean? Declaration. Uh, yeah, I don't know what declaration is. G capital D, I have no idea. GR, however, is, that makes me happy. That makes me very happy. So that gets references to anything. So GR. And now I have every reference to this pass function. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Right. So I think that's all the language server protocol stuff working. So the only thing I want to check is that if I go up into like a readme or something, uh, maybe not Eden. Inputs, txt, yeah. If I start pressing stuff in here, yeah, so this one's not, the mappings aren't working here. Excellent, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So, that is LSP set up. Uh, so, change a mapping for conjure so they don't conflict. New name, new name, delete a function, uh, add a mapping function, add a setup, add a auto command with an or group, uh, change my mapping functions around a little bit, jobs a good and uh, fix or sure, add LSP mappings, improve, uh, and a remap calls push. Oh, I'm happy with that. This website, this blog is the one. I unplug my mouse. Oh. Okay. I don't know whether I want formatting right now. I don't think I do. Nah. All right. Next up on the block, I'll add this. I'll add some of these one day. I'll add some more support. Some of these look really cool. I'm just not working with anything other than closure right now, so I don't care too much. I don't think there's a fennel one. Like fennel LSP. It's not very really helpful, is it? Fennel and Vim. Oh, that's not really what I was looking for. That's my own post. 
It's my own post. It's my own post. Yeah. Not particularly interesting. Cool. Cool. So, Telescope is a highly extendable fuzzy finder over lists built on the latest awesome features from Neovim Core. Telescope is centered around modularity, allowing for easy customization. Community driven built in pickers, sorters, and previewers. Pretty cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to check was that when I. When I. was editing one of these. I need a good closure project to edit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how to be a Ruffle Sorcerer? Do I have closure in here? Oh yeah. And Ruffle. Uh, repos, Oracle, how to how to be a rough sorcerer. Uh, when I am auto-completing things, my auto-completion was freaking out. Okay, it's working at the moment. Fine. So the one on another host that I use, this isn't working on that host, which is really odd. It throws errors all the time, but at least it works here. So I know that it works in some environments, but it doesn't work in others. And look at that! Unused public var before. Because this is used by my editor config. Uh, I can jump to these as well, yeah. NP, NP, NP. Control K. <gasps> uh, G, R. Oh, I'm very happy with that. That's very cool. Okay. Okie doke. Kill that server. Oh. Right. So do I install telescope? It's going to replace... It's going to replace... Optional dependencies bat. Oh, I use that. I use that. I want to use that. I kind of use that. I have no idea. No, I don't have this. So I don't have any tree sets to support yet. That's probably another one that I should enable. I'm just trying to go through and like kind of catch up with some 0.5 features kind of tune up my Neobim a bit, add some cool features. Uh, so if I add this, what happens if I add this? I mean, I could try it. But then I have to do TS install language to install. And I have to enable it for certain languages. Like, that's a lot. However, if it runs better, I'll be very happy. You know what? Let's grab it. Let's try it. So, what do I need? Let's do tree set first, because fuzzy find works fine. Like, I'm I'm happy with fuzzy find. I really like this. But if uh, if I get some really cool features from uh, telescope, I'll I'll hop on the bandwagon. Uh, what do I want? I want. Uh, what do we want? Plugins. <coughs> so how do I get Packer to run stuff on update? I don't know if Tree says no, I don't. Uh, so Packer and then how do you get Packer to update or to run things? Config. Yep, 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 cool, whatever, yep. Uh, is there a do? Run. Plugins can have post install update hooks. I guess CMD. No. Run. Run. Ah, here it is. Yeah. So... Run. Uh, and then this becomes... Wait, is it just a... 
Yeah. Alright, we sort this. Always sort your plugin list. Don't have to. And sync. Done? No. Okay. If you say so, Mr. Tree Setter. TS install language to install. TS install closure. Oh. Fennel. Oh. And then what? When I do this, does it update all of them? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ensure installed maintained one of all maintained or list of languages. Require MVM tree setter config setup. So I could do this. Each module provides a distinct tree setter based feature, such as highlighting, indentation, or folding. See MVM tree setter modules are available modules below. All modules are disabled by default and need to be activated explicitly in your init environment. Okay. Each module can also be enabled or disabled interactively through the following. Ah, we're not doing that, are we? Okay, let's grab this. Let's just grab this Lua config. Uh, plugins. Plugin. No, yeah. Tree sitter dot. Fennel module dot files dot plugin dot tree sitter. So let's grab that whole thing. Mod tree sitter. That should do the trick. Uh, and let's do in event code again. I need to Okay. Ambient source. Loads quite fast. Uh, quite a uh, to load. Configs, right? And then tree setter dot configs, and then we do tree setter dot setup. 
ensure installed maintained let's do this uh, highlight or false will disable the whole extension this language is being disabled instead of true it can also be a list of languages Do I need this? Like what, I, what if I just... Oh, that's downloading and compiling 57 trees. To, okay. Ha. Huh. Is this a good idea? So I have tree sitter passes now for like every language. Well, a lot of popular ones at least. I have no idea if that's a good idea or not. TS update, update. Is there like info? Install info? Okay, yeah. So Elm, Fortran, Haskell. And Scala are not installed. Believe it or not, I don't care so much. Um, but then how do I check that it's actually working? Config info? Oh. Okay. TS. Enable all. Ah, module info. Yeah. It's not very helpful. I I have no idea how to check if it's working. I'm just going to put this in anyway, so highlight, enable, true. Oh, that's very different, isn't it? Why are there underscores under all the defens? Well, the tree sets of support is definitely doing something else, right? I'm wondering if it's going to be more efficient. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, what the? Oh. Okay. Does Conjure still work? It appears to. Wait, can I do all? And then just restart and it will install like... Oh, wow. So, I now have language server support. I have tree sitter support. I have highlighting from it. So what does this one do? Additional Vim regex. Additional Vim. What does it do? Um, setting this to true will run H syntax and tree sitter at the same time. Set this to true if you depend on syntax being enabled like for indentation. Using this option may slow down your editor and you may see some duplicate highlights. Instead of true, it can also be a list of languages. Oh. So when I set this to false, does Conjure stop working? And in that case, can I tell Conjure to start using tree sitter? Like, I have no idea. I mean that? That's still working. If I put this in here, 
Ah ha ha. Oh no. So Conjure is not getting the information it needs if I turn this on. So if I set additional Vim projects highlighting to false, Conjure doesn't know that, like, it doesn't get the information that this is a comment. However, if I then tell Conjure to use, so let's say uh, Conjure tree sitter. Yep, so let's enable this. Set MMG uh, true. So now Conjure is going to use tree sitter. I haven't used any of this before. This is like full on brand new. I need like a fresh REPL. Let's do mmfoo.coj plus 1020. Okay, so that works. Let's go full screen. That works, sure. Right. Now, how about if I put a closing brace? Still works. Okay. So maybe, maybe I just start using the tree sitter mode for conjure. So what does that mean? Like, defin add. Maybe um, I don't know how I test this. How do I make sure that things are working? Like, can I try and break this? Huh. Okay. So now all passing is done by tree sitter instead of by regexes. That's actually pretty incredible. What happens if I do like food or uh, MD? I do COJ in here. Does it work it out? No. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been really cool. Um, so that means I have full tree sitter support like complete just tree sitter completely works wow all right are there any other options i can set so i don't really want to do that this i'll leave as false uh this is true yeah i've done all because i'm bold like that Oh my god, this is so cool. Fully enable tree sitter. Yes, even for Kanja. Wow. All right, so in the trifecta of like cool shit that I'm trying out, there's one more thing. And that is telescope. And what would telescope replace? Telescope would replace. Oh, it's all different. The colors are all different. <gasps> this is, wow. I wonder if any of my plugins are broken by the fact that all the syntax highlighting is different now. Why is this one green? Why are you green and you're not? And you're, I guess the spelling? Ah, oh, it's doing spell checking inside the code. That's kind of not great. And also, like, why is this yellow and this bit's white? Some of this is a bit debatable, I'll be honest. But I'll start using it. Um, what about, like... Yeah, it's fine. some pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff and I'm hoping that this gets faster like the passing of big output here will get faster uh, so the only other thing that I'm interested in right now wait why is tree sitter 
Oh. Wait. Oh, I undid it. Discard. Yeah, discard. Um, right, so I want to... Oh, I am. Hmm. This might be better. Maybe. <laughs> um. Plugins. Nope. Plugins. Have I got a Fuzzifer file? I do. So I'll basically replace this Fuzzifer one with Telescope Fuzzifer. <laughs> so in that case, bam, delete those lines. Getting started, that sounds like a good section to me. Use these three plugins. Oh, requires. All right. So how do we describe this? So that, 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 that. Uh, requires. And then, it, I think it wants this. And then Lua pop up dot mvim. And mvim lua plenary dot mvim. I think that's what it wants. And then let's sort this. Go to the Fursifer and rename Fursifer to telescope. I got it wrong. Telescope. Dot fennel. Uh, and then this one as well. Gets a mod. Telescope. Let's make sure I definitely sorted all this. I think I did. Oh. It's lost all highlighting. Oh. Well, that was weird. I'm a bit worried I'm going to run into bugs like that all the time. Uh, so let's get rid of this. It's no longer Fuzzifer. It is Telescope. And let's come out these for now. So I have Telescope installed. Usage. Find files using the Telescope command line sugar using Lua functions. So this is FF, FG, FB, FH, and these are telescope, find files, live group. Right, and I can call Lua directly. And I might as well use this one though, right? So let's comment out, uncomment the ones that I can match. Grab these, paste them here, comment them out. So what have we got? We got FF, so find files. Actually, no, 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 no. Grab this one. Command line sugar. Sugar is good. Uh, so we do a util dot l no in no map. And FF, so it's find files, which is now going to be telescope find files. Now before I go any further, let's check if this works. Not a command, of course. I need to actually sync my plugins. Uh, yes. Cool. Oh no! Module plenary log not found. Right, so the, the dependency part didn't work. 
So this requires thing didn't work. Ah, that's why. Because that needs to be like that, I think. Sync. And open. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of fast. How do I get out of it? Are oh, you going to press escape a few times? Right. So, say I wanted to get back to this telescope fennel file. That's not really helping, is it? It's not looking it in files. Okay. So already these are problems with it. Like I want it to look for, I want it to search in hidden files and folders. Um, live grep. So F G live grep F B. These are the same mappings that I think I normally use buffers. Help tags is F H. Did I do that? Uh, help tags are oh, capital H I did. tags. What other ones have we got? H telescope. Ah. Well, what other commands are there? Ah, vim grip arguments. Oh. So this is RG, color never, no heading with uh, Yes. So I think this is where I had some special settings before. And those were... Column line number no heading, color always smart case, hidden follow right. I'm gonna get those from my git diff. And I'm gonna set these with telescope setup. Right. Telescope is telescope. And then telescope dot setup. So Vim grip arguments is once again, Lua syntax is weird. Uh, change surrounding to that. Find quote, delete quote. Go to hat, delete that. At Q, at Q, at Q, at Q, at Q, at Q. Uh, let's split these up a little bit, but not too much. And hidden. What are the ones were there? So it's column, line number, no, uh, you know what, you know what. Let's grab this whole thing. So it was color never smart case hidden follow. Huh. Why not? Um, and then Dash G. Ooh, what am I doing? Dash G not bang not dot git slash. Ah, yeah. So this is how I can say like show hidden files and folders, but ignore git. I think. Smart case. Have I got smart case on? Yep. Color no heading. Line. Not, okay. That's probably right. What were the other options? That's a prompt prefix. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yep. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. These are some cool options. I don't care too much, but. Uh huh. This is true. Oh, set M color term true color. I think I can do that. Do I need it? I'm not going to bother. Final preview. Uh, yep. 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 So what other, what other actions are there? Like, can I get windows and history and like all these? Are these a thing? Tell us. I can't see it here, can I? Telescope. Okay. That's more than I expected. No way. Alright. Uh, man pages? Uh, 
There's no man pages, apparently. Maybe this is a Nixos thing, actually. Uh, commands? <gasps> That's actually really cool. That's really cool. All right. By some definition of cool. Um, so we've got FG, which is live grep. Let's make sure that works. Actually, let's do this in the subdirectory so I don't expose a bunch of stuff. Uh, all I call... Uh, actually, no. CD. Let's do it from here. So, if I do space FG uh, and I search for, I don't know, fennel? Nothing? Aniseed? So, it's still not finding things. It's still not finding, like... Still not finding hidden things. If it's obvious, if it's not in a hidden in a dot directory, then it's working. So I thought that this would do the trick. How do you tell it to use grep previewer? Sure. Where's the options? So grep previewer. What telescope previewer? Yeah. Vim grep arguments. The command line arguments for grep search. I'm doing this though. File ignore patterns. Patterns to be ignored. As long as that's not set, I don't think it is. Grep string, live grep, file pickers. Okay. Hidden. Oh, find command. So if option. Yeah. Hmm. So in theory, this hidden argument should be enough. In my opinion. Let's add some more arguments. So we've got FG. Uh, I like this one. Can I reenact this? So tell what's that gonna be like? Telescope. Uh, live grep. Wow, doesn't like that. Live grep works fine. How do I give live grep an argument? Like, seriously, how do you give... What? What? Maybe the sugar one doesn't accept it? All right. Telescope. Current fuzzy find planets. Planets? What? What? What is going on? What is this software? What, what am I looking at? Oh, it's a telescope. Of course you can look at planets. Oh, of course you can. You got me. That's actually pretty clever. I hate it, but that's pretty clever. Reloader, marks, registers, auto commands, spell suggests. Treat. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Pardon? So this is like picking up parts of the file by tree sitter. That doesn't really help that much, but uh, it's kind of interesting. So let's try and mimic most of these. What ones have I got? So I've got help tags. Uh, that's like F uh, space F capital H. Yeah. So there's help. There you go. There's all the country ones. Whee! It's very fast. Uh, so we've got help tags. We got FG, we got FF, uh, we got FB, home.x, yeah, there's only one. Uh, I'm guessing there's Windows. You know what, I'm going to restart my editor so that I can do the configuration in here because I'm getting tired of having to hop over to a new window. So let's 
do this, make sure that my plugins are all synced. Uh, oh, there you go. If, oh, it's not actually finding it. Oh, I forgot because it doesn't find hidden files. Uh, and the reason it's not finding things is because inside stowed, it's all under hidden directories. So this is what I need to fix. I need to get it to find, I need to get it to find hidden files. I'm just amazed that this doesn't do it. Vim grep arguments. Is there something I'm doing that's really dumb? Does this need to be done like delayed or something? I don't know. Uh, so telescope windows. No, it doesn't have windows. Buffers. Yeah, well, mm, we have buffers. So you can't go to Windows. Quick fix, file browser. What? Oh, this is like my local directory. So I can go like... Oh. That's kind of interesting, actually. Could do like... F minus, so I use Vim Vinegar on minus to jump up to like parent directory, but like F minus to, what's it called? Telescope file browser? Whoops. Wait, am I not? Hello? Telescope file browser. It's an underscore. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Because I could just hit up, up. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I like that I can do that. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's got the buffer numbers on the end as well. Oh, oh, it doesn't pick it up. Oh, nice try. Hmm. So what ones have I got? Uh, FM I wanted to do for map. So FM for mappings. Map, map, map. Uh, is it not mappings? I feel like they haven't named them very consistently. Marks, registers, tags. I like having mappings here. Key maps, key maps. Key maps. So FM, there you go. Key mappings. Woo! Uh, so what else we got? History. Telescope his. Oh no, no history. Current buffer fuzzy find. Huh. There's a lot of Git ones as well, which could be kind of cool. Lock list old files. That's what I meant by history. Yeah. So FH will be old files. Windows we still don't have, and I don't have an equivalent to this right now, but I'm sure I can get one. Discord go badoop. Nice. Uh, file types. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. I don't really care about that one. Uh, could also do, like, instead, do tree sitter. And a capital T is file types. How's that? So, space FT gets me nothing because there's no tree sitter stuff here, maybe? Let's let's try it on like a on a actual closure repo. Uh, oh, that doesn't actually telescope tree sitter. Yeah, it doesn't get anything. That's kind of useless then. Maybe I won't bother with the tree sitter one. Bye bye, tree sitter. 
you've been replaced by file types. Which is a little bit more interesting. You know what? Themes. Uh, I never use themes. I never use file types either, but I'll leave it in. Uh, marks. Marks, marks, marks. So FM. FM is mappings. FM is. Oh, wait. Telescope? Marks. This is meant to be an M. There we go. M. There you go. There's marks. Right. Good. Commands. Commands and command history. Ah. So, commands. Commands can be command history. Still nothing for Windows. It's a shame that one. Current buffer tags, file browser, FD, live grep, quick fix, or FQ for quick fix. Nothing there, but yeah. Uh, help tags, Vim options, search history, command history. Are there any others that I'm really interested in? Tags, spell suggest, jump list. Spell suggest would be potentially good as well. LSP code actions. Ooh. LSP code actions. So FL is LSP code actions. I'm going to forget all of these. Jump stack, jump list. Reloader, I don't know what that is. Spell suggest, LSP code actions, LSP document symbols, LSP implementations. Oh, there's so many. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up in a sec. Uh, I'm happy with this amount though. LSP references. Could do LA and LR. I feel like this is maybe a bit much. Symbols, commands, symbols do. What is it like that either? Oh yeah. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Look at that. No way. What? There's no rename. I haven't got a rename mapping. That's pretty cool though. You can just like, hey, what do I want to do to it? I want to... Clean the namespace. What did that do? Oh, it, okay, it reformatted this. That's using Slam Hound, I guess. I kind of want to rename mapping. Kind of want to rename mapping. So it's still not perfect. So this is, so FLA, let's do that. Telescope. Still want some actions, some more actions, some more LSP things. So there's like implementations, LSP implementations. What other ones we got? Mm, LSP workspace. I don't want to do all these. Uh, document symbols. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to remember all these, am I? Not at all. Document symbols, implementations, code actions, workspace symbols. Ah, so there's workspace symbols and right. So how about normal S is workspace symbols and big S is just local ones. Um, references, that was the only other one I was interested in. LSP references. Let's try these out quick. Uh, the only references here. Oh, that is true. The only references there. Okay, how about this one? Cool. Does not support implementation. Oh. And then I can check my mappings like this. Okay. So document symbols. So let's try that. Oh yeah. Does all the symbols. That's workspace symbols. And then here's all the ones that are inside here. Okay. Okie doke. I can't evaluate things because I'm missing stuff, but I can hop to here. I can look at the documentation. All of this is new this evening. So I'm still missing these. I would like those back, really. Um, oh yeah. Six viewers, wow, I'm famous. I need to turn this music down as well. It's loud for me. Turn myself up. Ah, hmm. How do I make telescope take the current word? So I'm looking for live grep. Live grep, yeah. How do I tell live grep to uh, prompt title grep open files? I want to kind of like pre populate live grep. <laughs> Telescope.built-in live grep prompt title grep open files. Ah, built-in live grep. Grep open files. If true, restrict search to open files. Ah, search does additional logs. Okay, well that's not really helping. How do I make you search specific? Or search with the pre-populated string. Grep string. Searches with a string under your cursor in your <gasps> in your current working directory. I think. Grep. Oh. 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 Uh, what I what do I do? Star. Grep string. Is this what I was missing? Like, uh, I'm having issues though because everything's in a hidden directory and it doesn't like to grep for it. So let's do grep string on here. You know what? That worked. And then I can restrict things down. How about to the one that contains this? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. That's exactly what I wanted. Cool. Uh, so the only one I'm missing is one that I never use anyway, which is FW Find Windows. I, I don't care. But why? Why, 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 why? I'm specifying hidden. And yet, 
if I do FG, I do a live grep, and I start searching inside here, these files are within this .config directory. So stow at the top of my current working directory, I have stowed.config, ba 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 down into here. And because it's got a dot in it, the grep is completely missing it, which means that FG never finds it, which is kind of a bummer. Why? Why would it ignore this? Does that mean live grep doesn't work using these arguments? Or does it mean these arguments aren't being applied? So tear list scoop. Uh, setup. Live, uh, what's it called? Uh, vim grep arg argument. Have they changed it? Have they changed the name of the setting or something? RG. I'm wondering if they changed it in some version and now. Oh, this isn't very helpful. Rip grep? No, they don't mention rip grep either. Huh. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I'm open to suggestions here. So is it going to be in like the telescope in the readme maybe? Perhaps? Related projects, Fuzzifer. That's exactly what I'm moving to. Um, is the prompt file type you can see? Uh, okay, that's not what I want. Um, FF is built in find files preview of false. Right, so how to change some defaults and built in functions? Live grep, prompt prefix. Ah, so I can do prompt prefix equals. Right. So there's a special syntax here that translates this lower code. Okay. Wait, defaults. Oh, I'm missing a key. Ah, oh, you almost had me. Wait, I may have got too excited. I may have got, I may have jumped the gun. Vim grep arguments. I'm copying and pasting this, so I can't. Oops, not like that. Not like that, I'm not. I'm copying and pasting this, so I cannot do a typo. So telescope.setup. What happens if I run this? What do I get? That returns a function. What? Telescope.setup returns a function. To embed the above code snippet in .vim file, Wrap it in Lua stuff. Why does it return a function? Why would you get a higher order function from that? Okay. Uh, this doesn't appear to be working at all now. So, oh, maybe I've broken this bit. Maybe it doesn't like this. Let's try getting rid of here. Aha, okay. We have results. So it doesn't like this, this dash G. What if I like, I, I bet this is a quoting thing. If I do this. Nope, still doesn't like it. Um, if I don't quote it at all, No, doesn't like it. So it just doesn't like this last one. Oh, unless these have to be like this, perhaps. Uh, is that how that works? 
Maybe it is? I guess so. Yeah. Ah, oh, but Fine Fowl still isn't. Oh, no. So I, c I still can't find, yeah, Telescope. Initial mode. Is there no way for me to do that? Prompt prefix, entry prefix, insert, descending. File sorter, file previewer. But how, how do I configure how it finds lists of files? Like, how does that work? Cycle nil, wind blend. Options affecting presentation, options for extension developers, options affecting sorting. Customize default built-in behavior. Hmm. Hmm. Buffers. Oh, so this is config for different pickers, right? So mbim, oh, let's do g mbim telescope find hidden files. Has anyone got this working? File picker, options to search, also get ignore, hidden. Uh, I cannot search through files in git subordinates because they're part of git ignore all that yet. Okay. What's telescope picker? Defaults, dash u. Live grep, film grep arguments, color never. So this, like, it kind of looks right, but this isn't actually finding um, file names. I mean, I could do dash u, but that's gonna, that's not what I want, really. Yeah, it's not what I want. I want it to... Okay, if I get rid of these, still nothing. <sighs> RG man RG hidden I think hidden shows search hidden files and directories by default hidden files and directories are skipped note that if hidden file or directory is whitelisted and ignore file let me search it yep 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 files uh. Hmm. Oh, it's Tammy. I've seen them in my things before. Uh, I want something that lists hidden files. Telescope find files not showing hidden files. Oh, this is the one? Vim API M set key map FF built in find files hidden true. Hit find files hidden true. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, 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 right. So FG now is finding hidden files. You're finding hidden files. Should be ignoring Git. Uh, we've got old files, we got uh, file types, we got commands, uh, command history, uh, quick fix, or oh, it's location list as well. Kind of want to. FS? Am I using S? 
kind of want to do like language server. So FS, FSA. It's kind of a nice way to do it as well. So FLS is telescope lock list. So we've got lock list, quick fix, command history, commands, uh, file types, old files, marks, key maps. LSP. I think this is about as good as I'm going to get. This is a file browser. I, I'm kind of tempted to... Do I ever use anything in here? I do create directories here sometimes. So maybe I won't get rid of vinegar entirely. Although... Oh... Uh... I could, I could just replace vinegar. I don't know, I don't know. I'll keep it like this for now, but maybe I'll replace vinegar at some point. We'll see. Uh, right. Happy with that. And... I think that's probably that's probably everything, right? Oh, Control C closes telescope. Ah, oh, it does. Ah. Oh. So there's no more fuzzy fur. Oh, I use it here. I use it in my um, shell. That's fine. I think. Yeah, I think I commit this and wrap up and I'm, I'm done for the evening. Yes. Yes, you do deserve it. Um, yeah, okay. Let's commit. Fire away. So now I have trees. To, I have telescope. I have LSP. Got my lumpy space princess. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Swap fuzzy fur out for telescope. That's pretty cool. Um, I think they're all the things I wanted to do, to be honest. Uh... My next step will be, at some point soon, um, I can't type, I cannot type, I'm so tired, uh, make magic kit support um, all of these things. So I want to swap a bunch of things over and recommend a bunch from Anaseed and Gunja. That will be another day. <sighs> okay. <sighs> well, that was productive. I'm going to head off. See you later.